Hello, how are you? This is Kim Murphy with Designs 23 in Marketing and Development talking today about website clicks on Facebook ads or link clicks. Website clicks or link clicks um, are very specific to Facebook and if you don't know this specific term you would get confused especially if you've used Google AdWords you're thinking to yourself I'm getting a certain number of clicks on the screen. Here's a perfect example. On the screen in my Facebook Ads Manager, it shows I got 92 clicks. To get those 92 clicks, I spent $19.58, and that's 21 cents per click, or so it seems. None of this is true. It's confusing. You have to look closely at the definition here. If you hover over clicks, you'll see the, the term clicks here has to do with the number of people that actually clicked on the advertisement. So they can actually click on a Facebook post, go somewhere else, exit their browser, not click to your website, and yet still Facebook is saying that is your, your actual click. And that click is calculated in your cost per click. So the way around this, you have to create a report and add some custom columns. So click on um, View Report. And then hit uh, Custom Columns. Engagement. Hit Website Clicks. Cost per website click. To make the report seem easy to understand, get rid of some of this stuff here. So now looking at the same exact campaign, it still shows cost per click is 21 cents. You spent $19.58. Um, and with that $19.58, I got one website click. So the key here is the term website click or link click. And your Facebook statistics makes all the difference, especially if You've used Google AdWords and you're thinking to yourself, I'm only paying 21 cents per click. Might not be true unless you do a custom report and create a custom column that says website clicks and cost per website click. And so even if you didn't do this, you might wonder, well, how does, does this happen? Um, when you boost a post, it defaults on engagements. Facebook is still optimizing for engagements, uh, meaning likes and shares, instead of clicks to your website. So you're not really getting a CPC, a cost per click, unless when you sign up for your Facebook ads, you're selecting um, get website clicks. So the simple answer is when you boost a post, this might happen. and uh, you have to watch your statistics and create custom columns for website clicks and cost per website click. And if you're thinking about AdWords, it's the statistics, is it's not the same terminology. Cost per click is cost per ad click. And uh, click through rate, this would look good in AdWords, but it's not AdWords. It's Facebook, so on Facebook, you might get one click for $19.58. So you have to be careful, especially if you're boosting a post, you might wanna try advertising through website clicks instead of boosting a post. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, contact me or visit me at designz23.com. And thank you for your time today.